Hi friends, how is everyone doing on this beautiful day? You can see my dog in the background with the cone on his head. That's another issue, we'll talk about a different day. Um, anyway, I'm talking to you guys today about seasonal allergies. I wait all winter long for it to be warmer and the sun is out and the grass to get greener and that's when my seasonal allergies hit. So um, I've really come to rely on essential oils to help me during this time. Every spring I would go to the doctor and tell them I thought I had an ear infection or sinus infection and he said everything's fine, just go get some allergy meds from Walgreens or something. And so at the time I wasn't really able to do that because I was driving from um, Elkhorn to West Alice. I've commuted a lot over the years. So I really wasn't able to do that. Um, sometimes I was driving from Elkhorn to Oak Creek, so I couldn't really be groggy from the allergy medication. So I really just suffered through it, which is not the best either. So if you're logging in, we're talking about allergies and how to support them with essential oils. If you are joining me, log in because when I do it on my page, I cannot see who is on watching me. So make sure you say hello and um, make a comment so I know you're here. Okay, so one of the main things that I do is um, use lemon, lavender, and peppermint. This is kind of considered our allergy trio for support. Lavender is known to have antihistamine properties. So this is really where you need to make sure that you have a quality lavender essential oil and um, make sure that you actually have lavender, lavandula angustifolia because a lot of the cheaper lavender bottles that you get at like Target or Walmart, it's, um, it's a different type of lavender and it's not going to have the same benefits as lavandula angustifolia. So um, hopefully that's not backwards. I think it will probably be backwards, but make sure you t get the testing results from it and that it's the um, species you're looking for because it won't have the same effect. Um, so that's why I use lavender. I will put it in the diffuser. Sometimes I'll um, put it directly on my nose. I'm, I'm not too bad right now, but hi mom. But sometimes it gets really, really bad where I just wanna like claw my eyes out, my ears are itching, my inside of my throat is really itchy and scratchy. So this is one that I use often. Um, and then lemon is in the mixture because it really helps break up the mucus that is in our, our ears, in, in the sinuses, in our throats. So it's really, really great to use um, in this combination. And then peppermint is really good because as soon as you inhale the peppermint, you can feel it. It's gonna open up your sinuses, open up the airways, it's gonna support your lungs, it's gonna open everything up, and it's just an amazing oil to use during this time. So this is the three, lemon, lavender, peppermint. Um, right now I'm going to show you how to make a roller with it because it's super easy. You can get these from doTERRA. They're great quality. They're not gonna break. They're thick glass and it comes with the metal roller as well. So these are all fairly empty bottles. So hi, Laura, you're welcome. I, I know I'm not the only one suffering right now and we have enough going on. We don't need our allergies making us have issues too. So um, so I'm gonna do about 10 drops each. Um, for a child, you would wanna do less than that. Someone um, who's pregnant or the elderly, you wanna make sure you're doing like a 1% dilution rate. And because this bottle is pretty empty, I'm actually gonna pop this off so you guys don't have to sit and wait. Um, another way, I usually don't 
take the essential oils internally but if you don't have actual lavender to make like a tea you can get a green tea and put one drop of lavender in and mix it with honey i've i've done that before when um nothing was relieving it okay so that's about 10 drops or so and then I'll do that with peppermint. Peppermint is a thinner oil, so it should come out pretty easily. Come on. All right, this one is empty too. All right, so I took the pop, the white pop off. All right. There you go. And then lemon, oh, I love lemon. Okay, so that's about 10. I think actually more like 12 came out, but okay. Now I can't remember, my hands smell like peppermint. I can't tell which cap is which. Okay, so you're gonna just do that so you can see the essential oils are to about here. And then I have some fractionated coconut oil and I'm going to pump till about there, if you can see that. And then just pop this back on. I usually just push it down with my palm and that's about it. Um, before I forget, I am thinking about offering my labels to you guys. Um, I don't know how I would do that yet, but it would be basically you would buy the PDF for like $5 and then you could print it out on like Avery mailing labels or you could, however you wanted to do it. So let me know what you think about that. I've been thinking about doing that for like three months. <laughs> I just have to figure out the best way to do that. Okay. So the best way to apply this one of the safety tips is um, regarding the lemon essential oil it is photosensitive basically that just means if you put it on your skin and you are exposed to the sun it can cause some damage to your skin so um basically if you're going to be applying like grapefruit lemon um bitter orange bergamot those essential oils to your skin, you're gonna have to make sure that you're not exposed to the sun. So you can um, put this anywhere, like um, behind your ears, back of your neck, on your chest, so that the sun is not being exposed to the location where you're applying it. Um, otherwise, if like at night, if your allergies are really bad or you know you'll, you're going to be inside all day, you can do it. Um, I, I'm going to be outside, so I'm not actually going to apply this right now, but up and down your nose, on your sinuses right here, um, up and behind your ears, and along your neck right here, that's really going to help with the drainage and making sure that your symptoms of your allergies don't actually turn into an infection. Mommy. What, honey? Okay, I'll be right there. Go outside. No, um, I want Monster Truck has poop on it. Oh, Monster Truck has poop on it. Okay, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Sammy has out. Close the door, Lou. This is why it's very difficult to do live videos during quarantine. Okay, just close. All right, hold on. Okay. Uh, outside. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so that is a quick demo on how to make this. I'm going to, okay, hold on guys. All right, come on, I'll, I'll, I'll fix it. Oh, and can you fix my young grandpa? Yeah, I'll get it. Yeah, we're right back on. Sorry guys. I thought I had a, enough time, but I didn't. Um, okay, so that's the safety tip with that. The other thing that um, I wanna show you guys is doTERRA actually has soft gels, our seasonal blend soft gels. I only have two left, so I'm gonna be ordering more today. They just look like this, and it has 
lemon, lavender, peppermint essential oils in them. They're made specifically for seasonal issues. So if you want more information about this, just let me know. It's, they're not, they're not very expensive and it's, you know, healthy for you to take. Um, the other thing is um, using different blends that will be helpful during this time, like um, we have Robin Sara, any of the fur oils, spearmints, Breathe Respiratory Blend. So if you don't have peppermint, you can use Breathe instead. Um, put it in the diffuser, keep it next to your bed at night, diffuse during the day in your office, wherever you are. Um, and I think that's everything I wanted to talk to you guys about. So if you have any questions or if I missed anything, just let me know. And um, this is kind of the first of my online education series that I'll be doing. And most of my videos will also be uploaded to YouTube because um, sometimes Facebook doesn't like to notify you guys when I do web um, videos. So um, enjoy the beautiful weather, get outside, get some vitamin D, and I'll talk to you guys soon.